Hey guys, so I've been told that my method of explaining variance analysis can be really simple. It's helped many ACE managerial accounting final exams, the Beck part of the CPA exam, and it's also been the most viewed variance analysis tutorial on YouTube. So I figured I would share my approach with you and you can see some testimonials from our old video in case you're interested. Feel free to pause the video at any given moment. If not, I'm just going to dive right into the topic at hand, which is variance analysis. So what is variance? Well, we know that we're gonna come up with many different budgeted figures since we are gonna be preparing budgets and forecasting numbers, and that will also have actual results at our quarter end or our year end. And the difference between our budgeted figures and our actual figures will be known as variance. So you can think of the term difference as being interchangeable with the term variance. And there are gonna be many different types of budgeted items like sales, sales revenue, uh, variable costs like direct materials, direct labor, uh, variable overhead, since we need to budget all our incoming revenues and possible expenses. So the difference between the budget and the actual amounts for each one of these is going to be a separate total variance. So we're gonna have a total sales variance, total materials variance, total labor variance, total variable overhead variance, and so on. And for each total variance, we'll be able to split it further into two different sub variances, which are known as the price and the usage variance. And sometimes the usage variance is known as the quantity variance or the efficiency variance. And the first type of variance, the price variance, all it is is the difference between the budgeted and the actual prices. So I should probably write this down as I go. So it's, all it is is just the difference between the budgeted and the actual prices. So I'll give you a quick example. What if our prices were budgeted at $10 and our, our actuals were $9? Well, that's gonna be a $1 difference. And if we sold maybe 10,000 units, then that's going to be a, or in total, it's gonna to be a $10,000 unfavorable variance since we sold a unit at less than the amount that we budgeted for. And the usage variance is vis very similar except that instead of using uh, prices, it's gonna be using quantities. So it'll be looking at like how many units did we sell? Did we sell maybe 100,000 instead of, instead of maybe 110,000? Well, that's also gonna be an unfavorable variance. And you'll see more what I'm talking about as we go through the next parts. So the next part, uh, you'll actually see a chart like this come up very frequently within your variance analysis chapter. And it's going to display the master or the static budget, the flexible budget, and also your actual budget. And they derive the price and usage variances from the differences between these three budgets. So for each of these budgets, we're going to see a similar type of format. We'll see sales being measured, variable costs like direct materials, direct labor, variable overhead, fixed costs, income, and so on, just like a typical budget. And the only difference is between each budget, it's going to have different numbers. And that's because each of them is different. For instance, the master or the static budget, let me just clear this really quickly. The master or the static budget uses standard quantities and standard prices or budgeted, it's also known as budgeted standard quantities and standard prices. So this is your most budget of a budget, your most, it's your realist budget because there is complete forecasting here. There are only estimates and the only difference between the master budget and the flexible budget will just be one, one adjustment. And that is to 
the quantities. So the flexible budget is going to adjust for the actual quantities. So you can see right here, the only difference is actual quantity and standard or budgeted quantities for the master budget. And if we wanted to calculate our variance between the master and the flexible budget, it would just be actual quantity minus standard or budgeted quantity times the standard price. So here you can see that the only difference is between the quantities and that's also why the variance between these two budgets is called the usage variance or the quantity variance or the efficiency variance. So you can see how they came up with that term. Now the difference between the flexible budget and the actual results, you'll see quantities are the same, but the only thing that's different are the prices. So the differences between the actual price and the standard price. So if we were to find a variance between the flexible and the actual results, it's going to be actual price minus the, minus the standard price times actual quantity since that is the same. And that's going to yield a price variance. So just remember that always between the master and the, and the flexible budget, there is going to be a usage variance and the difference between the flexible and the actual results will yield a price variance. And altogether, the difference between both the master budget or the budgeted amounts or your static budget and your actual results will yield your total variance just like I said at the beginning of this tutorial. We're going to go over a question for variance analysis over the next two videos. Hopefully I'll see you guys in that one. Make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions regarding accounting or any other material within our videos, you can tweet us at NotePirate. You can like us on Facebook to receive updates or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped. And like always, thanks for watching us on YouTube.